Salutations! I am Cameron. Welcome to Game Division. Today we have an unboxing for Battle Cruisers. Ooh, it's so tiny. Uh, it's from the Eminent Domain Universe. Uh, if you backed the uh, where's that Eminent Domain Exotica expansion, you probably got this as well. Um, it's not part of the same game, but it's in the same universe. It's very similar to the concept that Among the Stars did with uh, New Dawn, I think is what it is. Um, and I don't think I picked that one up because it changed what I liked about uh, the universe. But this uh, was just intriguing enough that I figured it would be worth a go. And I think maybe it's just a better price point. I don't remember. Um... It was back when, don't ask me when, it was back, back, okay, but it's such a cute little box, and it's three to five players, it says 20 minute play time, um, again, like, super cute and tiny box, um, so the first thing I see is this fold out thing, oh, which I guess is the rule book, um, I don't like it when games do this, but I understand that it helps keep the cost down. Oh look, Tasty Menstrual Gaming, you have advertising for your things. That's lovely, thank you very much for that. Um, it comes with a bag of bags! I always approve of this move, um, giving your customers more um, for what they pay for. And you can get those things for like pennies on the dollar if you buy in bulk and distribute that way. Um, these seem somewhat important. Okay, so there are five of these, one for each player, it seems like, and they've got, we'll go ahead and show it up there, um, some kind of, like, turn sequence indicator, and then, for whatever reason, we can go to red alert. Um, I'm assuming that you do that when bad things are happening, um, and as far as I can tell, the turn sequence looks the same. Nope. Uh, oh, because when you have one card left, then you go to red alert. Uh, if you have no cards left, you're elim eliminated. Eliminated. Yes, eliminated. Uh, uh, the rest of this looks exactly the same. So, I'm imagining like Space Uno at this point. That's very interesting. Um, there are these little things that use victory points, very similar to how uh, Edema Domain does. So if you run out of them, or you lose some from the other game, you can get some from here. Um, there are also little shields, one for each player it seems like, and on the other side it actually is marked disabled instead of protected. So they are trying to be very, very clear about what is intended in this game so far it seems. Um, and the game itself seems to be made up of three stacks, so let's go ahead and open these up and see what's happening. Okay, they have not wandered far from their um, styling. Not not necessarily artistically, but like the way the cards are laid out. Um, there's still in the top left are symbols. I'm assuming that they're boosts of some kind, um, and what looks to be a cost in the top left. Um, I'll show off the spy drone in this camera up here. Um, so you've got the cost in the top left, you've got some symbols in the top right, you've got this thing that says clash and a rule text at the bottom with the big picture. And I'm sure it's all very unique and important. Now, after seeing this next one, I'm really hoping that that number is not the cost. I, I'm hoping that it's some kind of number designation that you have to use, like, order of operations. Because uh, the next one on the top of that is a tactical nuke, which is 38. No, I, no, I can't. No. Uh, oh, there's actually one higher. Salvage is 39. Oh, and they have different colors up there. Oh, I don't know what that means. 43 for the escape pod? This, this is blowing my mind. Um, I have no idea what those numbers mean. Um, 
What's interesting is they borrowed art from the other game. Like, I just saw this in the Exotica um, cards as a mercenary, and in this one, it's a pirate lady. Um, we'll go ahead and show it up there. If I can get the glare off it, it will do it over here. Um, so, it shows a pirate lady there in a cool mask and everything, and... Um, yeah, I just saw that. Where a lot of this other art seems different, but maybe it's it's just different enough that my brain can't process it because I am not super art guy. Um, so give me a moment. I'm going to look at the rules here. I'm going to figure out some of these weird things that we just saw. Okay, so my favorite thing is that there's actually a way for everyone to lose. Uh, I really like that. Um, it's called Indeterminable Game, so if neither player can win, everyone loses. Uh <laughs> so you can uh, be eliminated by running out of cards, um, or you can win by getting to 15 victory points. How you do that is each round you are playing a card from your hand, um, kind of blind, kind of like um, Egyptian rats group, but you're not slapping anything. You're supposed to play it face down and then flip, very similar to Seven Wonders Among the Stars. Uh, the number that is up here is actually the uh, speed of the card, you, uh, or the priority, rather. So you resolve from lowest to highest, One's being highest, or one's being first. Now, let me make sure I said that correctly. Lowest number to highest number. Um, and you only play with like six cards at a time. Uh, seven if you have more people. Eight if you have the most people, um, which are, where numbers? So six cards, six types of cards for three players, seven types of cards for four, eight car types of cards for five. Um... This is a super short, simple game. Uh, that being the rule book is very encouraging. Um, yeah, and then you're supposed to split these up into identical decks. So yeah, there's there's probably be five of these. So there's five of each card, but they're designated by color. So you you divide them into colored decks, um, and so each player can pick whether or not they're blue, green, orange, purple, or black. Um, so yeah, that's really all there is to it. I'm really looking forward to busting this one out and, and giving it a go because it looks like it's going to be a fast-paced game. It looks like it's going to be a short game, uh, and a lot of people tend to like those sort of things. Um, so yeah, this has been an unboxing for uh, Battle Cruisers from an Eminent Domain Universe. Uh, until you see me next time, I am Kamurai, and that's game over.